Good day, boys and girls. Welcome back to my English lesson. Today we are going to take a look at lost and found. Lesson objective. At the end of the lesson, I hope that you can achieve these two items. Number one, I hope that you can answer the questions correctly. Number two, you are able to see where the items are. Alright? Let's go. We are at the beach, but our four friends here need our help. Alice lost her ball. Billy lost his lotion. Charles could not find his slippers, and also Derek here could not find his goggle. Can you help them to find these items? Yes, that's great. Let's help. So where is the ball? Can you find Alice's ball? Oh, there. We can see that the ball is under the tree. Great. But if you don't want to use the ball, you can use it. It is used to tell about an object. One thing. So in this picture, it refer to ball. So we can say it is under the tree. And to make it even shorter, it is, we change it to it's. It's under the tree. Meaning here, it is or it's, I-T, apostrophe S, it's are same thing. So, meaning here, I, T, F, S, T, F, S, it's, and it is a same thing. Okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's try on Billy's lotion. Where is the lotion? Can you find Billy's lotion? Yes, it's over here. The lotion is in the bag. Or you can also say it's in the bag. It's here. Refer to the lotion. It's, it's here. The lotion. Lotion tersebut berada di dalam bag. It's here. Kata ganti diri untuk the lotion, we use it's ear berada di dalam bag. Instead of saying long words, the lotion is in the bag. We cut it short. We use it's. It's in the bag. Daripada kita nak cakap, kita tulis paling panjang. The lotion ada di dalam bag. Kita gantikan the lotion tu dengan it's. It dirujuk pada satu barang saja tau. Kalau lotion tu ada satu, baru boleh guna it's. Kalau lotion tu ada banyak, tak boleh guna it's. So, bila nak kata, nak cerita mengenai satu barang, Awak kot tulis, it's in the bag, it's on the table, it's on the floor. Satu barang sahaja. Lebih dari satu, kita kena guna perkataan lain. Okay, so jom kita tengok yang lain. Where are the slippers? Yes, you can see from here, right? The slippers are on the mat. Now we are talking about more than one thing. We are talking about two things here. We cannot use it is anymore. So remember, it is refer to one thing. So if the things are more than one, we use they are. They are here refer to the slippers. The things, okay, we can say they are on the mat. The short form for they are T H E R E F S T F E R E. We pronounce it as there. There on the mat, right? I'm going to give you example. See, there are refer to the slippers. Short form for they are. Jadi T H E Y F S T F E R E. Okay. Today you are going to learn new thing. This thing you should learn in. Uh, you should learn it in your year three, but it's okay. We just learn it now. These three words are called homophone. There, there, there. See? Homophones are words that have the same sound. 
But different spelling and meaning. Maksudnya, tiga perkataan ni mempunyai bunyi yang sama tetapi maksud yang berlainan. Okey, awak bukan sebut dia sebagai dia ataupun sebut dia sebagai there. Ha, bukan ya. Tiga perkataan ni awak tolong ingat sampai bila-bila. Sama bunyi. Maksud yang berlainan tapi sama bunyi. Bunyi dia ialah there. Macam awak tunjuk. There are books. There are monkeys. There are lions. Ha, there. Di sana. Ha, sebutannya satu saja. There. Okay, maksud mereka berlainan tapi sebutan dan bunyi pronunciation mereka adalah sama. Tengok. There. Tolong tengok ni dan ingat eh tiga perkataan ni bunyi dia sama saja iaitu that. Maksud dia orang berlainan. T-H-E-I-R menunjukkan banyak orang. T-H-E-Y-R-E adalah uh, short form untuk they are. T-H-E-R-E pula ada menunjukkan lokasi. Yang tadi kita belajar mengenai apa? Ayah, yang tadi kita belajar yang tengah-tengah tu. T-H-E-Y F-O-S-T-A-F-E R-E Singkatan untuk they are They are ni Kita gunakan bila objek tu Lebih daripada satu Banyak Bila macam slipper Slipper ada dua kan So Sepasang ada dua pair Satu pair ada dua Dua slipper So kita guna they are They are kita guna untuk objek yang Lebih daripada satu So singkatan untuk they are T-H-E-Y F-O-S-T-A-F-E R-E There That So, jawapan untuk soalan ni, where are, jawapan kena there on the mat. There on the mat. Okay, kita try soalan lagi satu. Okay, where are uh, Derek's goggles? Goggles tu yang kita pakai waktu menyelam tu. On top of the sand castle, right? So, how are you going to say it properly? The goggles are on the sand castle. Okay, kata ganti diri untuk the goggles are panjang sangat. Kita pendekkan jadi there. That on the sand castle. Boleh tak? Boleh tak agak-agak? Simple je. Kalaulah uh, soalan tu bermula dengan where is. Jawapan dia kena adalah bermula dengan it's. Kalau soalan dia bermula dengan where are, jawapan dia kena adalah ada there. T-H-E-Y F-O-S-T-A-F-E R-E. Sebab where is tu, soalan dia menunjukkan kepada barang tu mesti ada satu je. Faham? Kalau where are, mesti dia nak tanya soalan tu mesti ada banyak. Eh, jawapan dia mesti ada banyak. Okay. Saya harap bapa awak, awak faham yang ni. So, before we go to the task, let do, let's do the revision of these two words. We use it to refer to one thing. It's a ball. It's a lotion. We use they when we are referring to things that more than one. So, we can say the slippers, the goggles. Okay, boleh? Alright, so I hope you are now clear on this. Let's look uh, at the task on page 109, your textbook. Firstly, look at the uh, blue box uh, give, given there, examples. If the question asks you, where's the blue book? You have to answer. Where, oh sorry, where's the blue book? So, where's here means the question here is referring to one thing. So, the answer should be it's in the green bag. So, where's ada S kat belakang maksudnya mesti dia tanya dan merujuk kepada jawapan tu mesti ada satu barang je. Okay, where are jawapan dia mesti lebih daripada satu barang. Okey, jom kita tengok aktiviti number 1. For aktiviti 1, you have to uh, write down the question and answers for the picture given. Okey, awak tengok uh, gambar dekat buku teks tu. Semua ada berapa? 
Semua ada berapa gambar? 1, 0, berapa tadi? 1, 0, 9, right? Okay, semua ada 6 gambar. Okay, I've done number 1. Saya dah buat number 1. Soalan tu pun, uh, activity 2 dah bagi. Dia dah bagi kat kamu. So, awak cuma awak cuma kena tulis soalan dan jawapan bagi setiap gambar ni. Ada 6 gambar. So, awak kena buat 6, awak kena buat sendiri 6 gambar tu. Okay. Satu, nombor satu dah buat. Where's the blue book? Kalau satu je barang guna where's. Kalau lebih daripada satu barang guna where are. Okay. Nombor dua tu, gambar picture nombor dua tu dia guna where are. Sebab apa? Ada lebih daripada satu buku. So, awak kena tulis kat bawah tau. Awak awak kalau boleh look, awak boleh uh, print, awak print. Kalau awak tak print, awak lukis. Tapi tulisan jawapan awak kena tulis dekat bawah lukisan tu, gambar tu. So, nombor dua awak tulis. Where are the orange boots? Lepas tu jawapan tulis kat bawah soalan. There in the black bag. Lepas tu awak buat daripada nombor satu hingga nombor enam. Okay, latihan nombor, ni latihan nombor tiga. Okay, so let's look on activity number one. Number one, you just have to read. There's no audio listening here. I want you to read and then you take the correct picture. Read and take the correct picture. Awak baca dan tandakan di gambar yang betul. Number satu, dia tanya, where's the shell? Di mana cengkerang? Jawapan dia, it's on the sand castle. Di atas sand castle. So, you have to tick either A or B. Number two, where are the kites? That in the blue and yellow toy box. Okay, so, now A or B. Yang gambar dia ada box warna biru dan kuning. Okay, now you choose. Uh, if you have printer, you can print it out. If you don't have, you can copy And salim dalam English one. Okay, that's all for today. Enjoy. Bye-bye. And stay safe.